Now, let me ask you another question, and I'd like to ask this question just to make sure that, that people have a full understanding of this. And that is that no-fault insurance causes some rather unusual aspects, but also the law itself contains this. Let's suppose that I can't afford insurance, but I decide to drive anyway. And I would never recommend this, but we hear about people who've got no insurance because they can't afford it. They're out there driving one day on a bright, sunny day, and a drunk driver speeding runs through a red light and T-bones their car. And that person's got insurance, but you don't. What are your odds in court on that case? It depends on if you're if you're talking about your odds of losing. <laughs> yeah, they're a hundred percent because if you it is it, in the scenario you paint is is really one of the is is such a tragic one because if you are driving your own car and you're the owner of it and you don't have insurance on it you are in for a world of hurt it, uh, from the criminal side. It's a, it's a misdemeanor. You could potentially go to jail, pay a fine. That's just the beginning of the nightmare because if you're in that accident and you're driving your own uninsured car, say you're injured too, you are disqualified from recovering no fault benefits. You're disqualified from the mini tort, which would allow you to um, recover damages from the at fault driver to, Put your car back together. You are disqualified from suing the drunk, speeding, at fault driver who injured you. You're you're disqualified. There's there's no lawsuit. You can't yeah. do anything. And the kicker, the the insult to all this injury is that under Michigan law, if you are uninsured, if you're driving your own uninsured vehicle, and you cause an accident, and somebody else is injured, even this drunk, speeding driver who's at fault. His, his or her insurance company can turn around and sue you to recoup whatever that insurance company pays out for that person's medical bills, wage loss, any kind of no-fault benefits. And I've tried telling people that. I say you have to understand the risks you take. But I also shared office space with attorneys who did auto neg. And every now and then somebody would come in with what sounded like a great case because of these horrific injuries. Oh, by the way, I don't have car insurance. It's like yeah, that's it. you don't understand the lack of car insurance is an absolute bar to your legal action. And then, as you point out, other bad things can happen to you.